Welcome to the next tutorial in Python. This one will show you how to make and use variables. So to make our first variable, we're going to do the same as we did in the last tutorial. We're going to open up a new window. And to make one, we can simply use a word to name it. So I'm going to call this one name. Now one thing to bear in mind with a variable, it always has to be one word. There mustn't be a space, so this wouldn't work. And you mustn't use a number at the start of the variable. Um, with that in mind, all we need to do next is put the equal sign. And as this is going to be some text, we're going to put it in a speech mark. So I'm just going to put there Bob and close the speech mark. Now that is it in a nutshell. We've made a variable. Now a variable is like a little box in memory where we can temporarily store things and then use them within our programs. And there's a couple of things you need to do. You need to name the box in memory, the variable, something. So in this case I've called it name. We need to use the equals sign. And then if it's text we want to store, we need to put it in speech marks. So one at the front and one at the back of whatever text we want. And that's it. This will now, this name, Bob, will be stored in the box in memory or the variable we've called name. Now, at the moment, we've just stored it there, so it's not going to appear on the screen. So just to see if this works, we can put a print line in. And this is slightly different. Because we're printing a variable, we don't use any speech marks in this. It's just in the brackets. So if we run this now, it should just print the name Bob to the screen. And I just need to save it first, so I'm just going to call it name.py. Save it. And there we have it. It prints Bob to the screen. So it works exactly as we wanted it to. Uh, it's not particularly exciting at the moment, but we can do more things with this. Now, say for example we were making an adventure game, and we also want to make a health value for our player, who's called Bob in this instance. So if I want to make some health for him, I can make health here, and make it equal to 10, for example. So now we've got a player, who we've called Bob, and he's got a health value, which we set to 10. And we can now, if we want to, we can go print. We can use some text and the contents of the variables together. So we can put speech marks, go hello, close the speech marks, put a little comma in and put name, another comma. Now these comma, commas, they're basically joining whatever text we're printing in the speech marks with the contents of the variable. So this will all print on one line. That's really helpful. And then we can tell them that your health points left are, close the speech marks again, and another comma, and health and close the brackets. Now we didn't need a comma after the health um, because we're not joining anything else onto the end of this line. So it can just be the one before that. And now if we run this, you'll see what happens. It starts to become quite useful code. There we go. Hello Bob, your health points left are 10. Works perfectly. So that's how to make some variables and actually start to use them in a program. And we can also do things like uh, subtract values and add values as well. So, for example, say that poor Bob is attacked, we can take some uh, values off his health points. So we can go, for example, health equals... We can do this in a couple of ways. We could do this. Health equals health minus 5. Now what this will do, it will take the original value that we stored in the health, which is 10 in this case, it will subtract 5 from it, and it will store the new value back in the health variable again. So it will overwrite the original value with the new value, which will now be 5. So what we can do is now tell our poor little player Bob that he's been attacked. Uh, you are attacked your new health value is and again we can close this because that's the text we're going to print and then we have to put the comma in and then health not in speech marks that's important 
So now if we run this again, you'll see what happens. There you go. So, hello Bob, your health points left to 10, your attack, your new health value is 5. So we can actually start to make this into a really useful little program and the beginnings of a little game. We can also use the name variable that we've made called Bob absolutely anywhere. So we could, for example, put it here. We could put name, comma, remember the comma, that's vital to join it all together. And now it will greet the player by his name. So if we run that again, save it, there we go. Hello Bob, your health points left to 10. Bob, you are attacked, your new health value is 5. So storing your data in variables is really handy because instead of having to write text all of the time, we can store things and manipulate them as we go within our program. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on variables. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to actually get input from um, the person actually playing the program so they can, for example, choose what name they want to store in a variable. Um, see you next time. Thanks for listening.